Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Dead Car Rescue. Today, we're going to go junking. We're going to go to Roan's Salvage, which is a old car salvage yard. And you've never seen this one. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to film some of the goodies he's got over there. Might even buy me one. But these cars will be for sale. Everything on this salvage yard is for sale now it's located in Ravenden, arkansas uh it's up around hardy arkansas if anybody's interested and we're gonna go over there and film i'm gonna give you the phone number for joey roan's auto salvage keep your eyeballs peeled because there might be something i didn't film in the background that you say hey i need a part off of that or i need the whole car or whatever and Joey's got a lot of old, old stuff. And uh, let's go look, see what we can find. Had to stop for my favorite restaurant. This is in Black Rock, Arkansas, a little cafe. Got some good old fashioned home cooking. That's what I like. Let's go in and get us some. Renee's Restaurant. Okay, I'm at Joey Roan Auto Salvage. I'll put the phone number up after I get through videoing, but I'm gonna video some old stuff that he's got out here. If you guys see anything you like, you need to call Joey. He's a real nice guy, got some nice people working for him, but he's just got a little bit of everything. And uh, we're gonna film the old stuff. That's a fiberglass front end off of a, like a 62, 63 Nova. Just saw that when I pulled in. Thought I'd film that for you guys. And everything is for sale out here. If you see something you like in the background that I don't say anything about, you'll, you'll need to call Joey. Uh, don't ask me what the prices are on anything because I have no idea. I just do buy some stuff here every now and then. This is like my old car honey hole, in other words. Let's see what we can find. Everything is for sale. Like I said, whole cars are parts. So I'm out here looking for parts today also. If I find something I like or need for some of my cars, I will probably buy it. That looks like a 62 Ford that says Fairlane. I didn't thought that. I thought that would be a Galaxy, but it says Fairlane. And it's got some nice, nice parts on it. I mean, the body even, the body looks good. You know, a little bit of rust down there, not much. Just a little damage, but basically, that's that would make a good street car. Like an old 352 motor, I don't know. I know the valve covers eat plumb out on it. There's some parts missing off of it, but basically it's all there, except for a fender and a hood and the grill. Okay, here's another one. Is it a Firebird or is it a Camaro? It looks like a Camaro. Uh, 
I know some of you guys are saying, I want that. I want that. That's a firebird. But it's got a Camaro deck lid on it. Not a bad looking body. Of course, you're going to expect rust like that on a car like this. That quarter doesn't look bad. Okay, it's got a Camaro front clip on it. That's a good looking car. Not bad at all. Now, if you guys that work on them things, you, you know, you could tear it completely apart and build it back up but that front clip right there i don't know what that cost but i'm sure it's not cheap I'm not looking where I'm filming. <clears throat> I'm looking. And uh, if I pass by some diamond in the rough thing that I'll see later on the video, I think, doggone, I gotta go back and get that. It's got wheels and, you know, it's a salvage yard. But a lot of this stuff is newer stuff. But he does have old stuff, and I see one right there. There is a Corvette, which I'm not into. Don't know what year that is, or a lot of this stuff, you know, I, I can't tell you what year it is, because they all look the same. You know, they, like Corvettes, I've got one. But... I'm gonna just guess in 60s at the 60 model or 60s model on this vet, but that's pretty rough. But there's a lot of parts on it. That's what you look for. Now look here. I like that. It's got the hood with it. Got a good looking bed on it. Look at that bed. And actually the cab didn't look bad other than that, that door. But if you was wanting something to completely tear down and build back up, something like this would be a, a good candidate for something like that. It's got the six cylinder factory six cylinder motor dang I wouldn't mind having that look at that bed man that, that's a good looking bed and there's the inner fenders Looks like the grill, stuff like that over there. There's a fender and there's a fender. It's got the fenders with it too. Speedometer. And just a little bit of rust right there. <clears throat> it said it needs floor pans in it, but. Okay guys, decipher that. 
if you're interested. Look at there. Hmm. That's something I might be interested in. <laughs> oh, I'm an old man. I got too much work. <clears throat> too much work at the shop right now anyway. I don't know if I can do it all. That's why I buy it and work on it when I get time and get the feeling good or something. see anything you like just stop me say hey psst, go back go back this is between Jonesboro Arkansas and Hardy Arkansas it's where this salvage yard is he has another salvage yard down the road but he sold it and he had to crush a lot of the old stuff he had there's a diesel tailgate there's a tailgate for a chevrolet but that don't look bad but 63 chevy grill you can see that Square body fender. Bunch of square body doors. Driver's side, passenger side. <clears throat> He's got a lot of a lot of stuff. Mail Jeep. I think this is a Plymouth. Look at there, guys. You like these old things? Look at that. It is a Plymouth. Hey, this is. This is a good candidate for an S10 frame. Somebody's already had a had that on something because that master cylinder didn't come with that. Somebody's done that before. Look how straight that body is. Look at those lines. How that comes down like that. Is that not cool? That's a deluxe. And what's we got here? I'm going to say a 70, 71 Chevy El Camino. It's the Swiss cheese model. That's what happens if you store like carpet or something like that on top of one of these cars. Look at that door panel. Man, it's not a bad car. Look at that dash. I just see a little, one little crack, two cracks, two small cracks. And they're not bad. It's got the, got good looking door panels on it. What do you think about that, guys? But most of, and look at the door. Just shuts right up. Most of you guys probably don't have interior that looks that good. No, that's the way I am. There's the hood to that, that old Plymouth we just looked at. There's the El Camino hood.
There's an old Ford hood. A door to a 62 Chevy. And it's not bad. 62 Chevy. Probably a two-door hard top. Yeah, it is two-door hard top. There's a fender to this El Camino. Bent front fender. But the body part, as far as the quarters, and they don't look too bad. <clears throat> this here is a 66 or 67 Nova. Two-door post car. Uh, floorboard's gone in it. It's seen better days, hasn't it? And one of the good driving cars of my teenage years was this old, se old Cutlass. 70s Cutlass. Those things drove like great. I mean, and that's a Studebaker. Don't ask me what year. If any of you guys got a Studebaker like this and you're looking for parts, may I recommend Joey Rohn's Auto Salvage. Old car Auto, auto Salvage. Uh, 69 Malibu. I loved those cars when it was new or when it was in good shape. All kinds of emblems and chrome pieces, stuff like that. But it is what it is. It's just a piece of, piece of scrap metal. Looked like somebody had a bad day, flipped it over. 1969. Of course, the old Ford pickups. Okay, let's go this way. Fifty. Four Chevrolet, roughly. It's got the, the tinted back glass in it. Look at there. Beaver dam inside the dash. Tell me what year it is, Chevy guys. That's different. I'm only gonna look closely at the ones I like. So hopefully you and I like the same kind of cars. It's a Fairly decent looking cab. That old Ford. Now we're gonna look at this one before we leave and go back down that line or go down that line any further. It's another 69 Chevrolet. Mo, uh, Malibu just good for parts you know like a window or glove compartment stuff like that but there's a cross member out of it can't miss those I went to his other salvage yard 
back in uh, summer last year and uh these this this yard has some trenches in it but his other old yard was in the hills and you had to walk up and down <clears throat> some pretty bad places and i was so tired i made it back to my truck but i had to sit sit down and rest because my legs were cramping i thought i was gonna lose my legs honest to goodness it was really tough on me uh, last year i was 67 so i'm 68 now hopefully i was just having a bad spell but i got to thinking doggone what happened to me last year i thought 50 years ago i was going into basic training and i was able to run outrun just everybody but three people i had three people that was faster than me that can run faster and longer um 50 years makes a big difference in in that so <laughs> continental let's just pass right right on by that i'm that's not my kind of thing there's our panel a chevrolet panel truck and also a chevrolet parts truck Somebody got mad at it because it wouldn't start and shot it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine windows total. You guys that know these things can probably say, hey, Steve, man, that's a rare one. You, you need to go back and buy that and fix it up. Well... How about y'all do that? You go, you go over, you come over here and you buy this thing, and you fix it up. I don't know what thirty series twenty nine. Uh, it's six hole. Let's see. That'd just be just a regular one. But here you go. Here's five window. Five window Chevy. Still got the original frame and everything. Somebody had a V8 in it at one time. It's probably their little hot rod. Oh, look at this mud bug here. It's not my type, but I had to, had to video it. This is the I've been in water up to my windshield edition. A Jeep. Yeah, I'd say they might not have treated this one very good. I think it probably was last in a mud hole somewhere. <clears throat> and uh, it died on them and water kind of took care of it. I don't know. I'm just thinking that's what, probably what it was. Don't know how long it's going to take me to go through these cars, but and video all this stuff. We just started. Nice old fire truck. That's that Ford fire truck with the uh, snub nose front end. And my buddy was looking for one of these short beds for one of these trucks. Told me to keep my eye out. And I'm, I'm keeping my eye out. That's a long bed. I see a 55 Chevy. Four door. It's, looks like a Vulture's got it. That, that trunk there, I think that's a 55 Chevy trunk. Or 56. That looks like it's in good shape. I'm not going to go over there, but there's a 60... Three Chevy Bel Air, or Biscayne. 
four-door car. It's too far over in the weeds and I have to break a leg to get over to it. So there's some parts on it. Like a 1970 Chevy. It's a long bed. Still got a, a good fender and a good door, fairly good door, good hood. It's not bent up or nothing. Yeah, if you need a hood or a fender, Joe your own salvage. It's a standard shift, <clears throat> non air conditioner vehicle, power brakes. Um, can't tell if I had power steering or not, but the gearbox is gone. I'm sure it did. Well, it's good to be true, the hood's bent. There's another scavenged 55 Chevy, four door. It's even got the green wheels too. Somebody wanted it. There's another one. 55 Chevy four door. All right, 57 Chevrolet four door. Hey, Dad, can I borrow the car? Where you going? I'm going to pick up my girlfriend going to church. You just going to church? Yeah, we're just going to church. Okay, son. Four hours later. Hey, Dad. I wrecked the car. <laughs> What'd you do, son? <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm coming back from the bar. <laughs> and this car pulled out from me. I had an order to go. I can't have nothing. All right. Anyway, that's not that I've ever done that. There is a bumper to a 57 Ford. Right there. Yeah, here's a, an old Chevy Deluxe. It's got the 350 engine. Two-door post car. That's probably a nice looking car one day. Sure it was. Sixty seven Chevy Impala. I had a sixty six sold to my brother Bob. He needed that seat. We think about those door panels, guys. He made this his own. And a Ford, like a, like a 1970, 71. That's a Blazer. 72, 73. Chevy Blazer. It's a 62 or 63 Pontiac. Two-door hardtop car. It'll remind you of a 64 top. So I'm going to say 64 Pontiac, maybe. It's got the old Pontiac engine. It's got the, look like the Chevrolet uh, top on it. They use the same top. Chevrolets 
Pontiacs. I think Oldsmobile. Maybe. Pontiac Firebird. It's got those stickers. Reason I say it's Firebird probably because it's got a Pontiac motor in it. 1956 Chevrolet. It was a standard shift car. No power brakes, no air conditioner. It was just car. And you could probably bought that thing for about under $2,000 or right there about $2,000 brand new in 1956. Never know what you're gonna see out here. I, I do film the interesting, just like this. That is interesting. It's a 530i. Yeah, well, okay. Now what you got? Didn't keep it very long after he changed it over, did he? Five Chevy, another four door, 1969, I think, Malibu, parts car, okay, there's another 55 Chevy and another 55 Chevy. 57 Chevy two-door post. The transmission tunnel made out of aluminum. Fenders aren't too bad, guys. I've seen you guys buy these things with Fenders just eat out. Like a 70s Monte Carlo, early 70s. 55 Chevy doors. I've seen one guy on YouTube, he, he takes a 55 four door, cuts the post out in the middle, buys a four door, buys a two door, um, two door door for it and makes a two-door out of them. You can do that. Glass pack mufflers. Hey, that's my style. 62 Chevrolet Impala, two-door hard top, black especially, with a red stripe down it. Now, this is the kind of car I, I've always liked. I love the dash on these. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, if you've never seen one of these brand new, this was a beautiful car. Back when they was new or, or slightly used, that was an eye catcher. It's still an eye catcher, sitting in this junkyard after all these years. Had a clutch, standard shift, probably a 283. We're not even gonna look. 28, front fenders. Split bumper, maybe. Don't know. There's the hood, fenders. The grill assembly. And what's left of the body is a race car. Camaro stuff. Somebody's laid on the ground. 
had a spoiler on it at one time, or at least that trunk lid did. Sixty-six Chevrolet four-door. Not much to see there. Okay, nineteen sixty-three Chevy Impala. Now this is a sixty-seven, and uh, it's two-door hardtop, um, fire stern, air conditioner, car. Those are some good running driving cars. An old Chevy. 50s. It's a 56 Chevy. I think it's a 55 Chevy or maybe 56 right there. But that one right there is a 66, that green one. 66, probably a Bel Air. I drove one of these from St. Louis to Arkansas from my stepdad. He bought one. And uh, it was just like this, except had bucket seats, had an automatic in the floor with a console, and this weird little old shifter that kind of like, uh, you could ratchet it. You couldn't ratchet it, but you had to move it from side to side to get drive or, you know, park or whatever. But such a cool car. I wanted it so bad, but he had it sold before he got it back. That was back in the day. You could buy those cars for like, you know, like $900. At the, when people would trade them in, the car dealership would call my stepdad in St. Louis and he'd call my stepdad. He'd say, okay, I got nine cars out here. I'll take uh, $250 a piece for them. You had to buy the good with the bad. And that was a joke as far as Mustangs come. Uh, those things were never popular. I rode in one brand new and uh, four cylinder automatic job. My, I was in the passenger side the tunnel, transmission tunnel, came over so far. I had room for my two feet side by side, but there was no room in that thing. 55 Chevrolet two-door hardtop. A Bel Air. It's too bad to fix for somebody like me. Some guys would take this thing and fix it. Just because it's a two-door hardtop. Nineteen sixties Thunderbird. It's got a factory header laying up there. These cars are not they don't, they don't cost much today. You can find them on um, Marketplace for a couple thousand dollars, and they look pretty good. There's a 71 or 72 Ford Torino convertible air-conditioned car. It's got the original hubcaps. LTD. A lot of good parts still on this one. And there's a Plymouth. There's a hearse. Hearst. A hearse. <laughs> okay. Just about wore out, wore out our welcome up here on this part of the salvage yard. So let's see what else we can find. Don't know what that is, but some of you guys do. I 
I better have an emblem on it, I can tell. Datsun, maybe? I don't know. I do not know. Don't know which way to go. I'm at, the, I'm at the fork in the road. Don't know which way to go. So We're just going to go where we see old cars at. I know a lot of this stuff is not even worth filming to you guys. Some of you probably already left and watching something else right now, but I don't know that. Some of you guys are looking for a part. I know you are and you're thinking, let's see where Ravenden, Arkansas is. We saw uh, all the chrome for Bobby Joe's Buick or whatever. Now that is a 64. See the see the back end how it's not pointed. Well, now 64 is pointed, but it's not pointed to a point. If you can look at that, it's different than a 63 fender. That's a two door hard top car. There's a Buick, a little two-door hardtop Buick, Georgia 1976 license plate on it. That's not a bad car. Look at the, there's no rust on it as far as holes. Still got the rear end under it. It's got trees growing up around it. Needs floors, but you like these little Buicks, that'd be a good one to fix up. It's like a Chevelle. Just say a 66, 67 Chevelle, roughly. And a Mercury Monterey over there. Monterey. Look at the chrome on that baby. You guys need some chrome for a Mercury Monterey? Look at that. Just take it off, go have it polished or whatever. It's even got the tail lights in it. Looks like a 62 Ford and the dash does. That dash. 62 Ford, but it's got a Mercury stern wheel. They just used what they had, kind of like the Edsel. You know the Edsel was a 59 Ford. I mean, say the 59 Edsel. 59 Edsel was basically a 59 Ford. And so this is basically from the doors and the, the interior and all that. Uh, not counting the rear front fenders or the rear quarters. That is a 62 Ford just with different body panels on it. They made it into a Mercury. I think my, my toes are numb. That's what happens when you get old, guys. Enjoy your youth while you can, because once you get old, you ain't gonna ask for this. It's just gonna show up one day. You're gonna say, well, my feet never hurt before. Now they do. Well, 68 years of walking around on them, what do you expect? A little Pinto. I've had many of those. I remember paying payments on a Pinto like this. It's got the hubcaps inside. Never even thought about putting a V8 motor in them, but 
you could put a V8 motor in this one right here and have you a cool sleeper. Put you just a 289, 302, something like I've got at the shop. And you could even put it in that Falcon there. Just make you like a roadkill looking kind of thing that would go down the road and you could drive it and the cops never pull you over like they do those guys. I don't know how they get away with that. How do you get away with that, guys? How do you drive a car, especially like in California, and not get stopped every two or three miles and say, hey, we're calling a record to get that thing off the road. It's not safe. I guess it depends on who you are. Now look at there. That's a perfect hood for this old Chevy. Even the dash looks good. Okay, is that a short bed? My buddy Chad's looking for a short bed. No, it's a long bed. Sorry, Chad. Dang, thought I found him one. Okay, 70, 71, maybe 72 El Camino. No motor. Had a 350 in it. I'm sure there's a lot of them I missed. But, folks, my legs give out on me. Once again... There you go, there's something to play with if you guys like something newer. Doesn't look bad from here. I don't even think it needs a paint job. I'm scanning the background over there to my left and just don't see anything. That's gonna pretty much wrap it up for us, for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make, make a comment, let me know. And uh, that's what you drive around in to go look for parts. If it works, it works. But leave me a comment saying, I like this video, make some more, whatever. Or I don't like it. You just tell me. I'm going to do what you guys want, not me. So, Joey Rohn's Auto Salvage, old car stuff. Get you some of it, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Okay, I'm just outside of Ash Flat, Arkansas. And this place was full of cars the last time I came here. And you can see there, there's not very many out here. But why don't you look at that. He does have some stuff for sale. Like a few newer models. I did see this 65, 66 Ford. I'm sure he still sells this stuff, but he, like I said, he had a whole bunch of stuff here before. And he he is on Facebook selling stuff. I see, I see his vehicles on there. Good looking little Ford. Custom cab. could be made into a real nice truck. <clears throat> I figure they'll show up here in a minute. It's a standard shift. That red and black interior was really beautiful back in the day when they came out. 
I remember those, how nice they look. Door shut up good. I don't see any rust on it. I'll give you the phone number to this guy. I've come up here to look at some stuff, but I've never bought anything from him. And it does have an engine in it. I just don't know what. And I don't want to mess with his stuff, so I'm just going to let you guys let you guys guess. I want to show you something else. This car was here the last time I was here. I wanted it. Never could get him to give me a definite price on it. He said, let me think about it. Here it is two, three years later, and it's still sitting here. A little javelin. You notice the humps and the fenders. And the Space Age dashboard on them. Space Age. American Motors never really did make good interiors. Um, they were cheap. Of course, the cars were cheap. But the wheels. Now, that's a SST, by the way. It's probably why he's still got it. He just, he don't want to give it away. I'm not sure what the price would be on something like this. But very little rust, I see. It's a cool car. Okay, got another one here, I noticed. Something you don't see every day, okay? I don't know what year that is, but I remember Timmy on Lassie. The, Timmy's daddy had one of these similar to this. Um, you guys probably already know what year it is, but I don't. But kind of went kind of crazy with the chrome. You know, chrome there, chrome here, chrome there. Big wasp. Get away from here, wasp. Chrome grill, chrome around the headlights, um, chrome bumper, chrome bumper. I mean, a hood emblem. And what in the world is this? I have never seen a bed like that on a pickup. What were they thinking? Is that homemade? That's not real, surely not. They didn't come out with a, yes. It looks like, okay, it looks like these have been put on to a bed. That's probably what it is. That's off a car or a station wagon, but dang. You gotta say one thing about it, it's different. Now nah, it don't go with the body lines. But <laughs> wow. That looks like a 57, 56 Dodge car. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Dodge was cheap, cheap, cheap. Kind of like the, uh, the American Motors of the car industry. And look here. 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Got a stick shift in it. Not a bad looking car either. Looks like to be all there. Had to show you this. This was on, kind of like on the way home. There's a Buick. Skylark, maybe? GS. A Buick GS. Grand Sport. Okay. I see it's an automatic car. 
There's a Camaro. It's not a bad looking car. It looks, looks like somebody bought it and set it up, kind of. He's got a lot of stuff out back. I'm looking, at, but I'm not gonna go back there because they're closed. They're not open. A lot of old stuff out there. So anyway, let me get you the phone number. If you're interested in any of this stuff, give him a call. And mention that you saw him on my YouTube video. Maybe he'll uh, he'll keep me informed if he gets something else. Eight seven zero three two four eleven fifty four. I tried to call that number just a while ago, and it gave me voicemail. So this guy might be doing other things. This is a side deal he's got going on here with. A, but I'm sure he wants to sell some of these vehicles. Give that guy a call. Tell him you saw it on Dead Car Rescue and you're interested in maybe buying something from him. Maybe he'll tune in to my channel and subscribe. All right, that's gonna do it. If I see anything else on the way home, I'll stop and video it. If not, that's gonna end the video. And for Dead Car Rescue, I'm Steve. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.